Hey guys, uh, I wanted to wish good morning everyone. Uh, this is Mr. David speaking and uh, we are about to start our next lesson. So, let's start with the date. What is the date? Today is Thursday, 26th of March 2020 and it is a very, very happy day. What is the season? Is it winter? Is it autumn? No, it is spring. And what is the weather today? If we look outside here, I can see that today is snowy, windy and cold. Very, very cold. Today's lesson is about prepositions of places. So today we will learn how to use words to explain where things are. If we look at this picture, we can see several items. What can we see? We can see a cat, we can see a bag, we can see a table, we can see a chair, and we can see glasses. For example, in the first picture, we can see that the cat is in the bag. The glasses are under the table. If we look at the second picture, the cat is under the chair and the glasses are on the table. And if you look at the other pictures, you will find more examples uh, of prepositions of places that you can use. Prepositions of places answer the question where, where something is. So when we ask where is, for example, my phone, Normally, someone would say, your phone is on the table. What are the goals of this lesson? Senor Guacamole says, to learn new words. Mr. Muffin adds that we are going to use the words in sentences. And Frau Apfelstrudel says, that we are going to learn how to explain where things are. Are you ready? Let's start. Our first word is on. On. You can see a picture of a table. And now you can see a cat. But where is the cat? So this is Cookie the Cook, and he is sitting on the table. So if I ask you, where is the cat? You would say, the cat is on the table. But now, he's not only on the table, he is jumping on the table. Very good. Let's go to the next one. In. Now we can see an airplane, a cat eating a pizza. And this is Peter the pilot. And he is eating pizza. Where is he eating pizza? He is eating pizza in the plane. Because he is inside the plane. Let's go to the next one. Under. Under. In the picture you can see a snail. And the snail is very, very tired. Tired. So because he's tired, he is sleeping under the tree. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Above. Above. Now, 
Buzz and Peter the pilot are having fun. They are flying above the house. So you can see the house and you can see the plane is above the house. They are flying above the house. Very good. Next, behind. Behind. Look in the picture. There is a box, a cat, and a snake. Where is the snake? The snake is hiding behind the box. Let's go to the next one. In front of. In front of. So, the snake is hiding behind the box. But where is the cat? The cat is sitting in front of the box and he is drinking tea. Next one. Next to. Next to. In the picture, you have four things. A bed, a chair, a dog, and an owl. Let's look at the dog. This is a dog. His name is Chivi. And he is sitting next to the bed. So you have the bed and you have Chivi. And Chivi is sitting next to the bed. The next word is between. Between. There is an owl in the picture, too. And the owl is sitting between the chair and Chivi. So, right in the middle, between. Now, the most difficult task ever. Let's revise all the pictures and see if you remember them. So, where is the cat? That's right. The cat is on the table. Next one. Where is the cat eating pizza? The cat is eating pizza in the plane. Where is the snail? The snail is sleeping under the tree. Under the tree. And Buzz and Peter the pilot are flying above the house and above the tree. Where is Chivi the dog? Chivi the dog is sitting next to the bed. And where is the owl? The owl is sitting between the chair and Chivi. Now, where is the snake? The snake is hiding behind the box. And the cat is sitting in front of the box, drinking tea. So, our goals of today's lesson to learn new words, and we did that. To use the new words in sentences, and we did that too. And to learn how to explain where things are located, and we also did that.
So very, very good job. But now, to finish, I'm going to give you a quick example using two things. A happy mug and my hands. So look, my hand is on the mug. My hand is under the mug. My hand is above the mug. My hand is next to the mug. Like this, side by side. My hand is behind the mug. And my hand is in front of the mug. My hand is between me and the mug. Between. You see? You can use things at home and describe where they are easily now. Good job. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this lesson, and goodbye!